My name's Zed. I've worked at WA Freight Group for almost two and a half years now. Uh, we'd come in in the morning, be about five or six o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'd come in and go through the pre-start checklist for the forklifts. So first round we go to the tyres and check each tyre. Inspect the wheel nuts for looseness or any missing. Now we just start the forklift. If there's a fault with the forklift, we'll usually put a cross in the checklist. And then down in the comments section, we'll just list uh, what the fault is, and that'll get fixed as soon as possible. Now we check the general condition. And then the final thing to do before we shut it off is indicate whether it's operational or non-operational. And in this case, it is. The ones we're using in this depot are diesel operated. So firstly, the first lever we have here is for obviously lifting the forks upwards and down. The second lever, as you can see, this tilts it up as we pull it back and that's the maximum it will go and down as we push it forwards. And the third lever is to side shift, moves the whole tines either left or right. And the fourth lever we have on the end is to close our tines. And on the other side, the simple gear lever up is to go forwards. In the middle is in neutral and downwards is to reverse. So I want you to grab those three pallets, like the two small white ones and the black one directly behind it, load it onto that truck right there for us, if you could, thanks. Uh, to get the forklift ticket before I came to this job, I went to an outside outside company and did a two-day course. We have a written section and then an actual manual section where we go out onto the forklift and train up on the skills required to work at a place like this. For myself, I hadn't had a lot of experience before I came to this job, so it was a matter of getting onto the fork, getting experience, getting a feel for the forklift before you know, you had the right skills to be loading trucks and doing the daily requirements we need here. We did get supervision for the beginning and we'd start off with the smaller jobs, you know, out the back, away from the hustle and bustle of the trucks coming in and out and loading up the odd items that, you know, more experienced forklift operator would have to do. Well, you have to be an aware person, aware of your surroundings. You know, a forklift can be a dangerous vehicle if used incorrectly. You have to make sure you know exactly where everything is around you at all times. So a few of the things that we really need to watch out for is everything, it's exactly the same but bigger. It's a lot higher and when you raise it, you've got to be very careful. And most importantly, high voltage lines, power yeah. lines and yeah. so forth. Tines stick out a lot longer, they're a lot wider. You know the dangers of the rear end swing with the, with yeah. the small yeah. forklift? We've got exactly the same thing here with the big one, obviously just on a bigger scale. And the controls are absolutely no different as far as the steering wheel goes. The four controls are through here are exactly the same as you'll find on your smaller forklift. The noticeable thing with here, of course, is you notice that we've actually got a um, gauge here will actually tell us how much we're actually carrying. Pretty straightforward as far as that goes. And look, yeah, we'll get you up and go and have a play. You take the handbrake off, stick it in the gear, stick it forward. There are a lot of jobs out there that require forklift operators and obviously there's a lot of companies that need the skills to and you need your forklift ticket. You do use the same fork ticket. It's in the same same sort of code that you can go up to the 16 tonne that we have here. Okay, park brakes off, hit yeah. the black button, shut it down, kick the oscillator switch off. I am actually a uni student studying accounting. Uh, this job, it ties in well with um, being able to work around the university and keeping the hours. The hours are flexible for me. It does get me through with the money I need to get through uni. Didn't think that much of it in the beginning before I got into it. But once I did, it is a, you know, it's more fulfilling than I initially thought before I got into it. But and now being in it, it's quite a good job to have been.